if anybody's watching. Uh, so we got uh, Invincible. It's a show that we've been watching on um, Amazon Prime. It is an animated series uh, on Amazon Prime that is, it looks like a, it looks like a Cartoon Network property that's like, that'll come on mid-afternoon on Saturday that you can kind of watch and it'll be fun, but it's not too serious, but it actually is very adult. Yeah. It has adult language, um, very, very hard gore. Very graphic. A lot of gore, a lot of blood, uh, language, uh, probably some nudity. I'm not sure if I saw that, but <laughs> some nudity, adult uh, adult situations. It's very adult. Uh, now, this was a comic. This was an image comic. Um, uh, I can't. I don't know when it dropped. I think it dropped like the early 2000s. Mm. So, image is like Savage Dragon. Um, I don't know if you knew this one called Body Bags. Like I had, yeah, I had. Yeah. Um, oh, you remember Body yeah. Bags? Because I had got into Image Comics uh, a little like in the early 2000s. I'm like, what's this? No, Image. They was actually Marvel and DC creators that they wasn't getting paid the right much, so they took put all their money together and started their own little label, which is I think is kind of cool because yeah. now they can. And those are characters that they um, had. They they created, but they didn't give to Marvel because they knew Marvel was gonna try to take them and screw them over. Yeah. So they, cause I mean, cause you know, Ty McFarlane had made um, uh, uh, Venom and all them, and then once they tried to like, okay, I want to do this, no, 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 we taking your character, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do this with him, we're gonna do that with him, you know, yeah. and you don't get the royalties and, and rights no, to them no, and no. all that stuff. So so they started their own comic company and they made us a lot of good comics uh with that but they did a lot of violent comics they had a yeah. lot of a lot of their comics were very adult yeah <laughs> well you know and i think that that's part of why image ended up being what it was was all the stuff you could not do in a marvel comic you know right yeah yeah all that stuff like I, whether it was just the nudity they kind of like kicked off their graphic novel like in american yeah. comics because it was like it was you only go so far like you said you only go so far and a lot of their comics just was very adult. Like I mean, it was a lot of Savage Dragon was very adult, and yeah. Body Bags was very adult and very violent. Well, I think like Top Cow comics came out the same way of like mm -hmm. just there's all the stuff we can't do working for like Marvel and DC, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I I always liked those stories, but I never I never read Invincible. Uh, <clears throat> I had just went back and kind of found out about it, mm. and um, yeah. So the show. Um, it was episode five, yeah. And uh, in this episode, he is uh, partnered up with uh, what's his name? Titan. Titan, which is voiced by Mahershala Ali. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say it slowly. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see if I can get some clips. <sighs> but yeah, so uh, for those of you who uh, have been keeping up with the show, man, so. We've been watching this kid get uh, Mark, um, God, what's his last name? Grayson. Grayson. Like uh, like, Dick. like Dick Grayson. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mark Grayson. Uh, he's been learning from his old man how to be a superhero. and um, But, I mean, everybody, if you've seen the show, you already know his old man is not who he says he is. Right. He's a hero. Oh, goodness. But he's got very unique views on what that means. Right. Know. He's a hero, but he kind of, he, to me, he seems like he's an image of what a hero should be on the outside. But when you get yeah. to see him on the inside, he's very arrogant and I'm better than you kind of person. Yeah. You know, <laughs> if, if Superman saw himself the way Lex Luthor saw, sees him, you'd get, uh, was it Omni-Man? Yeah. Yeah. That that's that's what that character is. If Superman like saw himself as a god rather than as just some dude, some farm boy from Kansas, you'd get Omni Man. Uh huh. <clears throat> you know, so like his approach to teaching his son how to be a hero is like, whoa, 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 whoa! Don't we don't waste time on this little stuff. You know? Right. He said that's beneath you. You are whatever he is. It's it's kind of a spoof on uh, on Superman. Uh, it's, if Jarrell raised Kyle, 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 yeah. If Jarrell raised Clark, you know, no, no, definitely, definitely. Instead of um, instead of Jonathan, because even in the <clears throat> comics, like there's a stretch there where like Jarrell is extremely disappointed in Superman for like not taking over the Earth. Like, what, what you mean you're a hero? No, we, 
We're Kryptonians. He's a, he so. had, remember Zod in, um, on uh, the old Super, Superman <laughs> 2 where they was like, he actually cares for the East. Like, like, like a pet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, he, he thinks of them like eagles. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> like, I love like the, the most reasonable way to understand that for a Kryptonian. Oh, you mean like a pet? <laughs> a whole race. That makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> But no, uh, and then like I said, it's very violent and gory. Here's a look at some of the gore in this show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only playing the music. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was just the same. Uh, yeah. Let me get a better scene where we actually do something. I I I wasn't expecting them to use this audio. Yeah. <laughs> what what's that? Trying to get that scene where he threw the gun at the guy. <laughs> okay, so first off, there was a bit right there. So this is one thing I like about the Titan scenes is a lot of folks catch ricochets off of his armor. Yeah. So like they pull out the 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 heavy machine gun, and a round comes off of him and splatters one of his one of the the homies of the dude that's shooting at him. <laughs> I didn't even know. Like it it turns him to pieces. But now watch this. Yeah. Okay, all right, we gonna yeah. stop it there. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, <laughs> man. that's what you kind of got in this show. Mind blown. So <laughs> I couldn't resist. Hey! But no, um, <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of stuff you got in this show, man. That's why yeah. I was like, this it's a badass show. If you like superhero stuff, yeah. If you don't like it light, if you like yeah. that good heavy hardcore you know, stuff. If, if you if you like the boys, yeah, this will this will work for right, you. Right, except it's animated. And it, it looks like it's gonna be it's it's kind of a fun looking animation. Yeah. And then it gets just get gory. Yeah. <laughs> so we pick up this episode so uh Titan comes to Invincible to try to get some help getting out from under this uh mob boss he owes money to. Uh and if you remember, Titan is the first uh, villain that Invincible actually ends up taking on. Uh, this guy that can just like coat his body in stone arm in like this stone armor. Yeah, <clears throat> and he um, he was like he recruited Invincible to help him, and uh, it was <laughs> take over uh, to beat this villain named Machine Head, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is played by Jeffrey Donovan yeah. <laughs> using um, Auto Tune. Uh, Auto Tune. <laughs> That would make anybody mad. <laughs> if anybody knows Jeffrey Donovan, the actor, he's a talented actor, but he he plays very annoying characters sometimes. Like every, almost every character he plays is like a little scummy and a complete asshole. Yeah. Uh, if you ever seen picture uh, of somebody that annoy you, but they can talk in auto tune. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, like uh, I met, I envisioned like his character from I don't know if you ever saw it, but like I think it was called Third Eye. I think he did. I think that show was on Prime when it came out. Matter of fact, I don't think I've seen either that. Prime. No, it was on FX and Hulu, and he played uh, a guy who was pretending to be a psychic. I haven't seen that, but I've seen. Uh, let's see if I can catch the scene when he's talking. Hold on. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's nice. That's that works nicely. <laughs> and like when he's going in at people, it, it gets so much harder to ignore. It's like, you work for me. Let's see if I can find it. Like that bit. Like, I'm like, how do you not punch him in the face when he's trying Dude. to talk down to you with that auto tune, man? Dude, it's just so much. <laughs> Money. <laughs> oh, no. Got money. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> like, oh, hello, Invisible. <laughs> you know, but like, and I know you uh, likened them to uh, Black Mask, and I like those characters. They're just scumbags, man. Mm. They're rich scumbags who commit crime. Yeah, <laughs> and I I love those characters in, in superhero comics because like there is no we have to uh, we ha we have to appeal to his us. Uh, his pathology, like you know, there is no like dropping a ho getting Mister Freeze. Uh, I mean, Two Faces coin, and then tossing a bunch of coins his way. Right. You know, they they know getting the Riddler tied up with with a bunch of riddles. It's like 
just a scumbag. It's just a scumbag. <laughs> and he's got enough money to keep throwing goons at you for the next eight hours. Now, I saw this other character. I was like, they made this other character so damn strong. I yeah. think he's going to have to be important. Because be. I thought he was just a goon. But this guy was just like, like ridiculously he was, strong. Like this, he won the fight, this got guy bored here. and left. Cecil got an anonymous call. We'll take <laughs> but it from here. I don't know what that character's name is, but like he gets bored with the fight after he beats everyone senseless <laughs> yes. and goes home. Now I guess he was just there for the uh for the challenge, but yeah, this is the scene I was trying to get. Oh. Oh. He just worked everybody. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sorry if anybody was watching that. That was brutal. <laughs> Ooh, man, that was brutal. Now, I don't know how fast they heal, but you would not Dude, be able to like, like a person. He should of course be dead. A person wouldn't be like, but his, his organs was just. You like, know what I'm saying? He, th that should have pulped all of his like essential organs, like yeah. in that one hit. And not to mention, he's he's supposed to be invulnerable, I guess. But I guess his weapon was so strong. I guess he's not invulnerable. He's just real strong. Like he picked the name invincible, but he is very much clearly not. not. <laughs> and like, like I told you, from what little I knew about this property, that's kind of their whole thing with yeah. the with this comic. It's like, yeah, yeah, there's no such thing. Yeah, yeah. But no. Um, it's a coming of age story, so we kind of want to see, you know, see the guy win. But stuff like this, like whoa, it gets so serious. It goes, it goes very, um, it goes not campy, but it it, it goes light in tone, yeah. and then it get real serious like that, you know. Like it's like if if you were watching Boy Meets World, <laughs> and it turned into Army of Darkness, <laughs> but they were the same movie, and they kept going back and forth between the two. <laughs> Yeah. That's what watching that. Invincible is like. Yeah, so this was the aftermath after that after like, that dude got done. <laughs> like, Monster Girl is missing her face. Right. And there go his feet right there. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like, why you make this character that strong? You know, and, and, and not even tell... What was his name? They didn't even say his name. Didn't even say his name. You know, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You established how strong these other guys are. And then this dude just wiped the floor with them. Yeah. So who is this guy? <laughs> you know, like, which is not, which like you put that on top of like every other villain in this scene was putting in work up until the very end, right? right. So everybody was a threat, and then this dude just wrecked everybody. Yeah, that little message there, like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. But no, um, yeah, yeah, I, I was, I'm like, I'm like, dude, and then I, I think it's eight episodes uh, they're gonna do. I feel, I, th I think so, yeah. So. uh it's a good show, man. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see the next week. I can't wait to see the next week. No, so, like this, the sort of thing I would usually be sick of by now in most superhero properties, like him uh, trying to make things work with his girlfriend. You know, like, yeah, I don't. They got that in there, but it's very, it's very light. Thank you, and that's what they don't do on those Spider-Man movies, where this is all about that. Yeah, and a yeah. little bit about no, it's all about his superhero stuff, and then he run in, got to take care of his. Girlfriend stuff, and then run back to superhero stuff. Yeah, that's what I yeah. like. So like. That's one, the balance I need yes. for Spider Man. Like, if they would do that with Spider Man, I don't need you know an hour and a half of him going to school and trying to make things work with his girl, and then thirty minutes of him being being a superhero. Yeah, you know, swap that. Yeah, right, <laughs> exactly. And that's what they did on this show. Like, so you get a little glimpse of how things going with his friends and at school, right. and, and he's all that. constantly late. Yeah. Um, you know, which. Have, if you want to be a superhero, you're going to have to sacrifice yeah. your life. And it's kind of ruining his relationship, really, you know? Yeah. So anyway, uh, it was, that was episode five, man. That was a, it was a good episode. Um, you got to introduce to this new character um, where they showed him before, but then now you can really find out who he was, Titan. Um, and um, I think he's going to be on there more because they kind of gave him an arc where um, – him and Invincible are going to have to settle up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, what happened there, you know what I'm saying, is they they left it at a good place where it's like we wanted to see what's going to happen, but they didn't give too much away, so they kind of left us at that. Okay, now I'm interested, and now I can't wait till the next week. <laughs> yeah, and uh, also shout-out to Reginald Van Johnson. Was, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I had to look him up. I had to look oh, him up. Oh, that's right. I wish I had that clip. 
Oh, man. The principal of the school is Principal Winslow, and they yeah. got him looking just like just like Carl Winslow from <laughs> from uh, Wait, look, from Family Matters. Not only that, they got Real him name, to, Reginald Van Johnson. They also got him to voice Principal Winslow. Oh, was he the voice? He was the voice. <laughs> okay, okay. Man. <laughs> also known as Powell on uh, Die Hard. A lot of people was fans yeah. of that. 80s action movie, which I am. He was the uh, he was the guy talking to uh, Bruce Willis over the radio. <laughs> yeah, I always play a cop. <laughs> always like the, it's Family Matters, and then him as a cop in name an eighties action flick. You know. Yeah. What I'm <laughs> All right, so that is uh, our invincible, um, our invincible uh, episode five uh, review. So, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> So we're going to move on to. So uh, now we got a couple of uh, pitch meetings uh, 